Hi there, I'm Fiona Coote and it's now been 34 years since Dr Victor Chang saved my life by performing the country's second successful heart transplant at St Vincent's Hospital. Back then transplants weren't funded by the government and so my transplant was only made possible thanks to a generous philanthropic donation by a former patient of St Vincent's. 34 years later, doctors here at St Vincent's have performed more than 2,000 heart or lung transplants. So this philanthropic support has made a huge difference. To continue this tradition, I helped launch the St Vincent's Current Foundation's Heart Lung Innovation Fund in 2014. I really want to thank you for generously supporting the hospital's heart lung program. Dwight is a lovely chap. We met him back in 2012. He's a 64 year old guy with what's called cardiomyopathy. So his heart was failing. And at that time, he wasn't gonna stay alive till a donor comes available. So we had to put an artificial pump in him and that's been keeping him alive. There comes the next technology that we've pioneered and that's the heart in the box or the, the transmedic system, which allows us to take a heart out of a donor that we're not sure about or perhaps it's even not working, that has stopped, and we can reanimate it on this box. This new technology, it's been the culmination of 15, 20 years of research in the lab. Uh, it's expensive technology, it's life-saving technology. Uh, it's used in a handful of places around the world, and St Vincent's was the first. Since 2014, your donations have supported the use of the Heart in a Box device. And I'm excited to say that over the last four years, your donations have funded more than 20 heart and lungs in a box transplants, meaning you have saved 20 people's lives. Donations to the Heart Lung Innovation Fund have also supported minimally invasive valve replacement surgery at St Vincent's. This means that patients don't have to undergo open heart surgery for valve replacement, which provides for a faster recovery and shorter hospital stay. Last year, we also announced that we are aiming to build Australia's first advanced cardiac imaging centre. It will be a one-stop shop for assessment, diagnosis and research into heart disease, which we hope to have open by early 2019. We are now so close to reaching our $3.5 million fundraising target. And what's even better is that every dollar you donate towards this project will be matched by the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute. So on behalf of all the patients whose lives have been saved by everyone who has donated to the St Vincent's Heart Lung Program, I'd like to say thank you. While so many have given, I would like to single out a few outstanding supporters for their extraordinary generosity over the years. Thank you to everyone who has donated to St Vincent's and helped patients like me have a second chance.